Hello, so not really a full-fledged video, uh, but I'm working on something really cool. Like, um, here's a little sneak peek of what I'm working on. So, um, in the meantime, I have a question. Why did the Spider-Man Noir figure just come with two, like, different heads? Like, I don't really see the point. Why couldn't they just make the hat removable? So, um, I had, like, a little thought. I have a bunch of these spirit figures. These, this is, like, the Mesco spirit movie figures. And, uh, I remember I bought a whole lot of them because they all came with trench coats. And trench coats are pretty handy for the material. But that was kind of before I realized that soft goods is the way to go, like, here. So, um, I was just gonna do, like, a little experiment. See if I can take off this hat and, uh just get it on this head see how that looks so i've heated up the head and uh, we'll just see if we can yeah we can you can see this is clearly a separate piece and uh, it's slowly coming up there we go so now we need to go through the stage of just hollowing out the head and uh, first off exactly how much do we need oh we don't need much at all so um i'm just gonna uh, Maybe we can just kind of go the knife route. No, I think this is easier if we just hollow it out with a rotary tool. So, like I said, rotary tool. We got a rounded drill bit here. And it's pretty much perfect. So we put on the alternate head like so. And then we just put this new hat on, like so, and boom, we have a um, Spider-Man Noir with a removable hat. And um, I quite like how this looks. I guess I could like reshape it slightly, like heating it up and then cooling it down, having the brim go down like a little bit lower. See, so, yeah, that already looks way better. But um, hmm. now this is me we're talking about, so it ever so slightly bothers me that that the aesthetics of this hat are slightly more in line with like the mask in that it's got these little like gray dots painted all over it i'm curious to see if i can take off this hat too so the hat is separated and uh, as you can see there's literally nothing that prevented this from being a um, just a removable part like, it's a little bit too wide here to, um, like, have enough friction to just, like, stick on. But that could have easily have been fixed with, like, a differently molded inside. So, like I said, there's literally no reason for the hat to not be removable. I have the spirit hat here, and there is, like, just enough friction for me to just, like, put it on, and it stays on, and it still looks pretty great. So, um, yeah, uh, just a really, really odd decision on Hasbro's part. I, uh, maybe they were afraid of you losing the hat, or, but, I don't know, like, it, it just kind of baffles me, because this works perfectly fine, and it also looks great, like, genuinely, there's, like, no difference, so, um, just a quick little video to keep the channel running, so, uh, thank you for watching, and hope you enjoyed! My name is Peter Parker, in my universe, it's 1933, and I'm a private eye. Hey, fellas! Wherever I go, the wind follows. And the wind, it smells like rain.